how many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Your hand, Christoph von Wuhl, Minister of Religious Affairs, and Jacques Perrou, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. I do apologize for being late. I was obliged to clear up some urgent business. At last we meet, Monsieur de Richet. Do you mind if I call you Louis? Please do. Thank you. I wish to apologize wholeheartedly, Louis. I made you cross the seas, and I wasn't even here to welcome you. When I asked you to join us here, it was, of course, in the hope that you would help us find your mother. However, there may be some new developments, but I, I don't know if they are linked to your mother. We have found Elizabeth Adams' body in her room. I'm afraid she was brutally murdered, stabbed, Several times. Who, who could have done it? That is precisely what I would like you to help us determine, Louis. Duchess Hillsborough informed us that she accompanied you at the beginning of the evening. You apparently bumped into Miss Adams, who wanted to speak to you. We are told you turned her away and she went away on her own. That's correct. Do you know what she wanted to see you about, by any chance? Alors, vous ne savez pas ce qu'elle souhaitait voir avec vous, oui, parce qu'on avait choisi plutôt de, 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 de ne pas parler avec elle. Alors, euh, on va dire, elle semblait confuse. Malheureusement pas. Malheureusement pas. Not in the least. Pity. The poor child was probably trying to find help. I thought it could wait until tomorrow. Hmm. Apparently not. Louis, I shan't hide the fact that this tragedy puts me in a very delicate situation. I cannot risk upsetting the smooth operation of our next conference. But the case cannot remain unaddressed. I must reassure my guests and justice will be done and for that to happen i must ask for your help why is that you met elizabeth you spoke together i believe she trusted you listen louis find out who could have committed this murder i refuse to believe that one of my guests is the murderer i want to know who is responsible for this and i trust you you have my backing you must stop at nothing can I count on you? Of course. How would you like me to proceed? Maybe you could start by going to the scene of the crime. Elizabeth was attacked in her room. Can you tell me anything else about what happened? Now, Louis, I wouldn't want to influence you. Get over there and form your own opinion. Do you have any suspects in mind, my lord? I spent most of the night talking with Sir Gregory and his eminence Piaggi. So, I think you can remove them from the list of suspects. Monsieur Bonaparte and President Washington left the party after midnight, I believe. They were tired and went up to bed. Right. I'll get up there immediately. Thank you, Louis. And once you've finished, come back and let me know your findings. I'll be waiting. And Louis, you've got permission to search through the guests' rooms. 
They've all been notified and they agree. Ok, donc on doit enquêter sur la mort d'Adams et faire notre rapport à Mortimer. Alors, déjà, est-ce qu'ici, il y a des choses à... On va quand même aller euh, parler... Euh... Your Eminence, I imagine that you've heard the news about Miss Adams. Oh, what a tragedy, my son. How could uh, such a thing have happened? That's exactly what I'm trying to find out. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night? Mm. I saw the young French soldier, Bonaparte, I believe, hanging around near Miss Adams' room. But I would not want to get an innocent man into trouble. It's probably nothing. But if I were you, my son, I would talk to Monsieur Pell. You remember how violently he set upon Miss Adams. Oh, don't worry. He's on the list of suspects. Okay. Il faut toujours penser à, à fouiller hein, pour les potions. Il y a un truc par terre. Une clé à motif occulte. Dante's purgatory. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub, the worm before it's attained its final form? Charming. On va faire un petit peu le tour, voir s'il n'y a pas des, des indices un petit peu ici. Avant de se rendre dans les différentes chambres pour fouiller. Ici, il n'y a pas l'air d'y avoir quelque chose. Golden Elixir. Elixir d'or. Là, il n'y a plus rien de... Ah, si. Descendre. Dante's purgatory. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub, the worm before it's attained its final form? Charming. Ouais, donc on a fait le tour. Bon. Alors. Euh... Un petit peu courir. Euh... Objet ajouté, une pièce de collection. Léviathan. Donc là, on serait dans le bureau de Lord Mortimer. Alors, euh, c'est un nouvel endroit. On ne l'avait pas celui-là. Euh, donc, je suis obligée de descendre. Ah. Alors. la chambre de Sarah.
Napoléon. notre chambre ici cardinal moi oh, c'était à sa chambre elle Washington. Good day, Monsieur de Richet. Mr. Volner, are you looking for anything in particular? Next to Elizabeth's room? I... I... No, no, I... Nothing special. Has anyone told you that Elizabeth was killed last night? I... Yes. Rumors spread quickly. Huh. He looks very put out. It's... Uh, it's horrible. Uh, how did it happen? I can say nothing to you, sir. You'd better follow your host's instructions and stay in your quarters. I shall leave you now, sir. I will return to my room. carrément laissé le corps par terre. There are numerous marks on the body. She must have fought like a lion. It couldn't have happened without a lot of noise. There are also a number of old scars. regular but they're mostly from old cuts people who scar themselves in this way generally do so to release some kind of psychological suffering by trying to master the pain they establish their self-control Je peux pas parce que je n'ai pas débloqué les, les choses qui me permettent de revenir à ça. On est au corps, le torse. I count no fewer than nine wounds on the thorax with a lot of blood. At first sight, I'd say that's what caused her death. It looks as though the wounds were inflicted from a precise angle, as if. As if the murderer was standing behind Elizabeth. Is 
Some of these tattoos are veritable works of... What's that? The skin between her breasts is different. Bloody hell! This tattoo was drawn on a page of leather and stitched onto her skin. Probably during childhood. If the scars are anything to go by. It's the same kind of tattoo as on the rest of her body. I see no sign of bruising on the skull. The only clue is a scar from a previous craniectomy. Poor Elizabeth, she she must have been very young when she went through all that. That's torture. She also has old scars around the neck. Maybe mutilations. She bled from the nose. signs of bleeding, but I don't see any traces of bruising. What a strange smell. Laudanum. Certain courtiers use it to get drunk. Taken in large quantities, it can provoke fits of madness. No wounds, but blood on the right hand. Nothing on the left, except that tattooed symbol. except that tattooed symbol. No marks or bruising around the wrists. It doesn't look like she was tied up or held by force. Blood, but no trace of blows on the legs. Tattoos, similar to those on the rest of her body. The blood streaks caused by the wounds to the thorax show that she was standing when she lost blood. This proves that she was standing when she was assassinated. Possibly held by someone or something. Bon. Va falloir chercher. Knocked over a bottle of wine. What kind of plonk is that? Hey, it's a Bordeaux. That's a Chateau de Brion. It's a great wine. I don't know what's happened to this wine, but it's undrinkable. girl bled to death. Whoever left that footprint has boats for feet. That's at least a size 15. Where's a size like that here? Peru? Washington, maybe. Yeah. A 
but just with a half circle pattern. Mm. An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. The handprint on the handle is really small. I can't imagine a man with a hand that size. It must be from a woman's hand. Il y en a qu'une seule autre femme, hein? Donc. Blood spatter indicates that the murder must have held Elizabeth upright during the attack. Even if Elizabeth wasn't very big, I, I doubt she wouldn't have put up a struggle. It takes tremendous strength to overpower someone like that. The label shows that this laudanum comes straight from America. I wonder if Washington's involved. Esoteric rituals are based on this shape. Could Elizabeth have been sacrificed during an occult ritual? I wonder if Elizabeth's death has anything at all to do with this pentagram. If a ritual went wrong and degenerated, Elizabeth would probably have been killed in the center of the pentagram, not three meters from here. That's strange. Piece of fabric, high quality at that. I'd say it's silk. Going by the texture and the gray hue, it must come from a, a dress, that kind that women of quality wear. <laughs> Color doesn't correspond to Emily's black outfits, and Elizabeth doesn't have anything quite like this in her wardrobe. Let's take a closer look. It's a little dirty. It must come from the bottom of the dress where it touches the ground. I recognize that moiré pattern. It's the same as the travel dress my mother was wearing when she left. But why the hell did she come into this room? Ah. La maman refait surface, hein? Thirty of November, 1791. My dear sister, the cancellation of our reunion hit me like a stab to the heart. Father told me it was for your well-being, but I can't help but blame him. He claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. If only I knew where you were, believe me, I'd be at your side. I haven't received any news from you in a long time. Please write. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. I hope you like the enclosed talisman. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer mattered to you. 
father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last, right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. Fairly new, I'd say. And judging by the weight of it, fairly light. It's extremely well maintained. The barrel is perfectly clean. It isn't loaded, and well, there's no traces of gunshot residue. I conclude that it hasn't been used recently. Hmm. There's a few dried traces of blood on the grip. Difficult to know for sure how they got there. Right. I shall have to find its owner. August 24th, 1792. Elizabeth, I'm driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you, but they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day to be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with Father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. A novel of the initiation of a young woman into a polite society. Water will give me a little reprieve. The clock stopped at 3.54. If it was smashed during the murder, then I've just established the time of the crime. That would clear Emily de facto because she was still with me at the time. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better and unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. Has Sir uh, finished with this room? Do you know who could have made such a mess of this room? Miss Adams, sir. We were given orders to leave the room as it was, so as not to rush her. Did she have a fight with someone to get the room into this state? Not that I know of, sir. Miss Adams would sometimes throw a tantrum, during which she would destroy anything that came to hand. Lord Mortimer told us not to enter the room. Thanks for that information. You are welcome, sir. Has Sir uh, finished with this room? I know enough now. Thank you. Very well, sir. Sir may return whenever need be. I shall guard the door. 
Ils vont laisser euh, le corps combien de temps là Alors. On peut donc fouiller la chambre des autres, euh, des autres invités. Ce qu'on va faire. Alors, il serait deux à l'avoir tué. Quelqu'un avec des grands pieds. Et une femme. Donc, Emily et Disculpé, puisque ils étaient ensemble en train de faire des choses coquines. Pièce de collection. Donc après il reste sa mère, alors elle aurait refait surface. Si on est chez qui Alors. John Von Wallner. On va fouiller toutes les pièces. Déjà parce qu'il faut qu'on trouve des potions là pour nous redonner des losanges en bas, sinon on va être coincé. The alchemist is a young man. Chest locked with a four letter code, surely a word close to the owner's heart. Allez, on est parti dans les codes, mon dieu. Qu'est-ce qu'il me faudra en connaissance L'occultisme, évidemment. Même que je trouve le code par là, ça ne donne rien. Golden elixir. Sorrows of Young Brother. There's a handwritten text signed by Von Wonder on this first page. Dear Elizabeth, I know that this book is but a small token compared to the delightful moments you gave me, but I hope that this will nonetheless keep the memory alive. Your ever obedient servant. So, Volner had a relationship with Elizabeth, but that's hardly surprising given his fondness for the occult. Table of alchemical symbols. Someone circled the zinc symbol. Zinc. Ça serait pas ça. Le mot de passe là. Zinc. A chest locked with a four-letter code. Surely a word close to the owner's heart. Alors, euh... si on met Z, modifier la seconde lettre. Mais pas tout à fait comme ça. J'ai pas de cas. Ah. Bah c'était ça. C'est une potion pour que je puisse. Euh de bibliothèque des petites potions pour Byzantine Byzantine Empire a coin often used during the Saint Louis era on est dans un rat de bibliothèque il n'y a pas de bouquin là non si signs of the zodiac Ah mais il est là. Il est dans sa chambre le suspect. Félicitations, vous avez collecté 4 fragments d'arbre, votre nombre de points d'effort maximum augmente de 11. A fragment of amber. The alchemist is an old man. Oh, 
What can I do for you, Duriche? Monsieur, Lord Mortimer has appointed me to investigate the tragedy that befell us last night. Oh, yes. It's horrible. Yes. How can I help, Monsieur? Excuse me for asking, but did you know Miss Adams? Oh, she... Uh, not really, to tell the truth. No. I found the Werther dedication, signed by your hand, monsieur. Would you like to change your version now? Be careful, Duriche. Don't push your luck. My relationship with Miss Adams was pure and has nothing to do with you. Well, continue playing the detective as you see fit. But if I find the bastard who did that to Elizabeth, I will... Yes! I would have preferred a simple response, but I see I have my answer now. Exactly how long had you been seeing her? I have no reason to answer you. I see. Is that what you want me to tell Lord Mortimer when he asks what I found out? It's... it's only been a few weeks. I get the impression that your romance was over. Am I right? So? What does it matter to you? I would never have attacked her, if that's what you're insinuating. Who put an end to the relationship? You or her? It was her. It was her. But what does that matter? We both agreed. Where were you last night? In my room. I read a few ancient manuscripts before going to bed, but I didn't stay up long. I was tired. Thank you kindly. Et là, je ne peux pas. J'ai pas les points en diversion. We finished. I'll have a look around and then take my leave. Do whatever you have to do. On a jeté un œil avant, avant de lui parler. On a anticipé. Bon, alors. Donc nous en avons un qui avait, qui avait une relation. Ça ne peut pas être Émilie. C'est quoi ici Je peux pas rentrer. Ça ne peut pas être Émilie puisqu'elle faisait des petites cochonneries avec nous. Quelqu'un qui a des grands pieds et un jupon de femme. C'est tout ce que l'on a. Ça a l'air compliqué pour le moment. Chez qui là Napoléon. Alors il aurait été vu Napoléon à tourner autour de sa chambre. Hannibal crossing the Alps, another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room, and he gets victory after victory? It's true that in our chamber, we really want to sleep. The Battle of Alexander at Issus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. Golden elixir, consumed without excess. Vercingetorix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer, two great army chiefs. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you, 
concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. There's just one holster in Bonaparte's gear. And the pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in him. On a un pistolet. On a l'étui, mais pas le pistolet. Ok. Et dans la chambre, il y avait un pistolet. Alors, Napoléon avait-il des grands pieds La question se pose. French actor Talma is Nero of Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. Amber. A Byzant. son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powell Lee continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother. Et on dormira moins une bête. Hein. On saura que la mère de Napoléon s'appelait Maria Laetitia Bonaparte. C'est une arme magnifique. Un lovely damask blade. C'est marqué avec les initiales du manufacturier de Versailles. Débloquer la conviction. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. A nous deux, Napoléon. Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. As any good soldier would, I imagine you own a firearm. May I see it? Oh, well, if you really want to, here is my pistol. Don't worry, it is not loaded. Do you have several of these? In Corsica, oui, but not on me when I am traveling. Only a bandit would carry such an arsenal. Thank you. Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed, it is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me I to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. Can you tell me who was present at the game, please? Well, there were Lord Mortimer, President Washington, and Sir Gregory. Thank you. Ah, and his eminence, Piaget, as well. Excuse me, I nearly forgot him. Poor soul. What time did the game end? I can't say exactly. As for me, I must have stayed until midnight. I was exhausted, couldn't think straight. So I preferred to go up to bed. On your way up to bed, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, not in the least. The whole manor was sound asleep. Not really, no. Did any of you leave during the game? Not that I know of, monsieur. I didn't exactly spend my time noting the other guests' comings and goings, but I don't think so. Thank you. Did you notice anything unusual during the evening? Nothing at all, except the luck of the devil of Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory at cards. Did they win much? 
Oh la la, monsieur, they cleaned us out more like. But I plan on getting it all back before we leave. Someone saw you not far from the victim's room. Can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. I wanted to warn her to be careful. You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste, and I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, the young lady slipped through my fingers each time. Now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. What an idiot I was not to insist. I could have helped her. I've been studying him for a while now, and I don't think he was lying. Yet, I'm surprised how easy it was for me to read him. It must surely be his military side. I wish they all could be like that. My investigation would be finished already. Well, have we finished, monsieur? Exactly. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. Ça nous élimine Napoléon, apparemment. The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm, that might come in handy. 